so next topic in the chapter number 4 is the dilution so what is the dilution so dilution means uh, we a process by which uh, when a solvent is added to reduce the concentration of a solution so what does it means let's understand this uh, if uh, you buy a can of orange juice which is a concentrated it is written usually concentrated orange juice from the market you open the bo box and then take uh, one tablespoon one tablespoon juice and you put in a glass so one tablespoon one table a spoon concentrated glass concentrated uh, juice and then you added water up to this place to fill it and then you mix it now you can drink this juice which is a dilute and if you are purchasing a uh, one bottle of juice from the market which have the same amount of one tablespoon juice in uh, suppose 250 ml total and here you also have 250 ml solution so this process is called the dilution so the amount of the orange juice which you are purchasing from the market if that has one tablespoon of concentrated juice which usually they make it and then they sell it higher price compared to whatever you can do from the concentrated juice you can make it at home to for the less price so amount of the concentrated orange juice will be in both the same both the bottle will same in your glass and the bottle and uh, amount will also be same but the price will be changed right anyway so we are not talking about the price here but we are talking about the dilution so what is the meaning of dilution dilution means when we dilute means we add in more water or you can say solvents here water is solvent solvent is as a water so when we add more solvent to the solute so solute is here juice concentrated juice so when we add more solvent in a solute to make a homogeneous mixture that process is called dilution so in this picture they are showing that this has some colored solution which we have taken this is not the color uh, image this is look like black and white so when they have taken suppose uh, 10 ml or 25 ml solution from this measuring uh, conical flask into another one and then make it up to 100 ml so the amount in the 100 ml of the solution will remain amount of this stock solution from the stock solution will remain same but it become dilute because it has more water right so, so it has a more solvent so a process by which when we dilute when we add more solvent into the solution solute to make a solution that is called dilution so let's understand this uh, technical definition 
a process by which solvent is added to a reduce to reduce the concentration of the solution and uh, how we will measure that uh, how much water is required to reduce the concentration or how much solute is required to dilute the concentrated solution so we talk about the moles before and of moles after and how we cal cal calculate the mole mole is equal to molarity multiplied by volume in liter m is a molarity we have studied how will you calculate the molarity in previous videos and v is a volume which is in the liter v is the volume in liter so we can replace mole before and mole after as a m1 v1 one is for before and is equal to m2 v2 mole after and so we can also say that initially my solution was concentrated so we can write like mole in concentrated solution and volume in concentrated solution is equal to mole in dilute solution is equal to mole in volume in dilute solution so basically molarity is a concentration so they you can also write sometimes c that c1 v1 is equal to c2 v2 where c is a concentration and concentration is represented by molarity in whenever we talk about the volume so using this formula m1 v1 is equal to m2 v2 we can calculate different amounts either volume or moles or gram quantities in a question so we'll see one example then we can understand better so let's see one example here it is written what would be the concentration of the solution prepared by diluting 1.15 ml of 12 molar hcl to a total volume of 150 ml so how we will calculate the molarity so in this question we have seen that uh, if we see that what is the given value first we have to write what are the uh, values are given so v1 is 15 ml i am writing as a because what would be the concentration of the solution prepared by diluting 15 ml of 12 molar scl so this 12 molar scl and 15 ml is my concentrated solution this is a concentrated solution concentrated solution and to a total of 150 ml so this will be dilute solution right so concentrated solution so for concentrated solution v1 is equal to 15 ml and m1 is a molarity which is 12 molar scl and then they are talking about asking about to a total volume of 150 ml what would be the concentration means what would be the molarity so m2 means they are asking to calculate the molarity of dilute solution and the volume is given 150 ml so as we have just seen the the formula is m1 v1 is equal to m2 v2 so you have to just place all these value in this formula m1 is for concentrated solution and v1 is for concentrated solution and m2 and v2 is also for is for dilute solution so we know we have here 12 molar concentrated solution and 15 ml 
of HCl from concentrated solution is equal to M2 is for dilute solution we have to find out because they are asking what would be the concentration of the solution prepared by diluting right then multiplied by 150 ml of total volume so now after that we have to just rearrange all these values so basically we can move m2 and 150 ml on left hand side and we can move these on the right hand side m2 multiplied by 150 ml is equal to 12 molar multiplied by 150 ml and then once you will move this 150 ml to the right side it will go on the bottom so 12 molar and 150 15 ml this is 15 ml 150 ml so ml ml will be cancelled out only molarity on the top will remain so once you will calculate that 15 10 times of 15 is equal to 150 and then uh, 12 divided by 10 will come 1.2 molar so this is the very simple calculation you are just diluting concentrated SCL from you are taking only 15 ml from the concentrated solution of SCL which is a 12 molar which was 12 molar and you are adding the volume to uh, adding water to make it volume of 150 ml and then what is what will be the molarity of that solution dilute solution so this is the way you can calculate the molarity of the dilute solution next is uh, there is one more um, slide that shows the stoichiometric applied to a solution how will you find or how will you calculate the moles of a substance to a moles of mass of a substance which will be in the gram quantities gram quantities and moles of a substance so to how will you convert basically gram quantity into mass mole so always use a uh, remember always remember n is equal to is, small n is equal to w upon molar mass where small n is a number of moles and w is a mass in the gram and molar mass will be in the gram per mole so use this uh, conversion use this formula to convert any mass uh, from gram quantity to molar moles and then uh, use coefficient from the balance equation to find out the moles of B and the molarity of solution containing solution B use the volume of solution containing B so this is the kind of flow chart is given how will you calculate M1 V1 is equal to M2 V2 because sometimes they will not give you molarity they will give you gram quantities only and the molecular formula so you have to convert these gram quantities into mole using mol molar mol molecular weight or I will say moles uh, using molar mass and then in the volume how many volume how was the volume so you have to make account always how to convert and uh, how to find the concentration of concentrated how to find the molarity of concentrated solution and how to find the molarity of dilute solution then it would be easy to calculate so try to do some more um, solution pr practice problem and then understand better and if you have a question please uh, comment on the comment box i will try to answer you